All right, thanks, Christina. Now it is. It really is our favorite time of the day because it's Friday and it's been a long week, and I'm sure you guys at home or at work, you understand. You know where we're coming from, right? Well, you'd like to have a drink. Right, like to chill out. And well, it's five o'clock summer, right. so really it's not like it's that bad. It's all Friday, five o'clock happy hour. Yeah. And uh, also later on in today's show, it's the comic strip. So we'll have our three comics come in to discuss a variety of topics. So we need to drink first. Well, jokes so that are even always if better. Not funny, yeah, right. jokes are always better when you're a little buzzed. Right, too. Exactly. You just have to laugh. That's why you have to have a two drink minimum when you go to a comedy club. True. All right, yeah, so now. Funny. We are joined by Lucian Connor. He is the bartender down at, was it pronounced Gaijan Noodle? Gaijin. 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 You got it last week. I know. I didn't get it. I've eaten there. You know what I like about this place? And I'll tell you what. I was eating. I had my noodles, and it was my first time there. And all of a sudden, this bartender just comes walking around with shots for everybody. It was like, hey, happy Friday. I'm like, put shots. I'm like, this is the best place ever. <laughs> yeah, we really wanted to create just like a really lively, fun drinking atmosphere. And so we'll do this sort of kampai the chef will send out rounds of hot sake shots on the floor and then we'll invite people up to hit the gong. Um, it's really, really fun. We keep things interesting, really lively. Uh, today, actually, uh, I'm kind of celebrating our selection of Japanese whiskeys. We've got the, the widest selection of Japanese whiskeys in the city. Uh, the Japanese started making Scotch-style whiskey back in the early 1900s. Uh, kind of differentiated by the fact that they, they really focus on their blends and they don't trade juice. Like in Scotland, you would make your blends by borrowing from everyone else. Here they, uh, they develop umpteen, a hundred, if you will, uh, different variations in-house and then make really, really pretty blends, which is what I'm going to use today, which is Habiki uh, from the Suntory Group. And so this is whiskey. Whiskey. And what's the name of the drink you're going to make? Uh, this is something I came up with yesterday. I was... <laughs> it's, so we're going to name it? I wanted, I wanted, no, I didn't. We can do that this morning. Let's name it. I wanted I'll to... to uh, taste it first. ...to play with just some of the, the really wonderful early spring produce that we're starting to get in. So I called friends over at Specialty and had them put together a box for me out of all their farmer's market stuff. Um, and I really love these little strawberries, here, try this, uh, that we got from BY's farm up in San Clemente. They're like candy. Uh, and then oh I got God. some awesome, awesome kumquats from uh, Fallbrook, actually. I love the name kumquat. All right, so I'm going to get started. All right, you make a drink, and then we'll figure out a name. I already have an idea in mind. <laughs> uh, do you? I do. Well, I do. we'll vote on it, because right, yeah, I have sure. one, too. Okay, good. So let's take a look at our first viral video. There's a news reporter, and she is braving the elements. And um, then it just became too much for one Wisconsin reporter. It happened this past Wednesday. Here's what she said during a live report. Watch this. I have been here since, what, 3.30 this morning? Yeah. And it is now, I don't even know what time it is, 9.45. I'm exhausted. I've run out of things to say. It is <laughs> snowing, and it sucks here. <laughs> want to bring it back in studio. Uh, there you go. Uh, I, I would say that too. Right. This it's, sucks. it's freezing, it's yeah. snowing, it's By cold. By the way, all I've you anchors, here. enjoy your job. Right. Look at me. Right. It <gasps> sucks out here. Sucks. Right. And I saw, you know, I was I was saw that last night um, on the news. I couldn't hear it though because I was working out at the gym. Yeah. And I was like, what are they doing? What happened? They're all standing up right. and giving her a standing O. She's freezing. We're watching. Our man is making drinks. Uh, it, it's it's a good Friday morning. See, it doesn't suck here. No. It doesn't suck here. No, it's nice and warm. We've got drinks coming. I mean, it doesn't suck here. <laughs> All right, Lucian, how are we doing here? We're great. We're Thank almost you. ready to go. All right, uh, shake that thing. It's like Lucian's wow. shake weight. Yes, That's it right. is. It's like a workout every time. All right, let's take a look. So now what okay. did you put in here? You so we've got uh, two parts of the Hibiki 12-year blended Scotch-style whiskey, uh, one part Benedictine, which is an like, uh, old-school herbal liqueur. It adds just a little bit of structure. And then uh, that's it. I would love two words strawberries. people who love to make drinks. Liqueur? Structure. Yes. You know, I would never add structure. Me, I'm like, you know, I put a little vodka in, a little soda. <laughs> there's no structure to it, you know? That's true. There's no structure there. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is like a whole, look at this. Wow, is like a serious look at production this. Yes, here. it is. A lot of thickness to it. I like the strainer. It. I don't that's like the a little That's the other thing we get here is we get, we get uh, a little bit of uh, body. So it's got that, the viscosity, because there is a little bit of a higher sugar content. All right. Okay. All right, well, we better get this uh, yeah, let's over to sip. you so you can taste it before. Let's take a okay. shot here. Let's, let's take a little bit. Oh. All right. Ooh. Oh, it's a very big ice cube. Wow. Well, not as big Whoa. as last week. 
You did bring in a big ice cube last week, actually. Christian right. last week brought in this gigantic ice cube, dropped it on his foot, broke his like foot in half, <laughs> bled all over the studio, and, uh, and then went immediately to a hospital. All right, let's taste this. Right. Let's take it. Let's take a little drink here. Um, cheers. Cheers to you, sister. Mm. Oh, oh, no. Oh, that's scotch in the morning. Wow, that oh. is scotch in the morning. Woo. All right, wait, hold on. Let us get to our next video. Uh, they say they're cute, cuddly, and full of energy, but they're also prime targets for thieves. Watch closely. Is it guinea pigs again? You're going to see, as this woman, she's with a young boy, she's shopping in a pet store, she already has one puppy in her arms. When she makes her way to another cage, reaches in, picks up an eight-week-old puppy, puts the other <gasps> dog down, and the $900 Bichon, <clears throat> she put it in her bag. She put a Bichon oh. in her bag? Oh, my goodness. This woman is a dog thief who is on the loose. <laughs> she is armed with a puppy and considered dangerous. Oh, my oh, god! Oh, that's terrible. A Bichon in her burka. This is not good. Uh, by the this way, not loving this drink. I would never, Are you? yeah, because I would never order something like this, and and I I'm like, if the bartender said here, just try this, and I did, I'd be like, oh, this is great. It's one of the things where I didn't want to do too much because these whiskeys are so nice. So just a little bit of vinegar and just a touch of fresh fruit to bring out all these layers of fruit in the whiskey. So nice, like expensive, nice. Uh, all these are a little bit pricey, but values for what the quality is. All right, okay. I do like it. It's very sweet. I do like that. But I can also tell it's very strong. It, it yeah. is. That's why I'm going to down it. <laughs> it's a good start to your Friday, Yeah, it's for a sure. very good start. All right, so hey, tell everybody where you guys are located. So downtown 627 uh, 4th Street, uh, almost the corner of 4th and Market. Uh, really great yakitori noodles, Chef Antonio Frischia, uh, who's uh, the Gas Lamp Quarter Chef of the Year, um, highly awarded chef, and, and just an amazing fellow. So all kinds of uh, fresh meats cooked over open bencho charcoal flames. Sounds fantastic. Can't wait to come down and visit. And hey, happy Friday, everybody. And cheers, cheers, everyone. Cheers. Thanks cheers. Thanks for having me. And let me say cheers to our friends at Corky's Pest Control because, listen, if you've got termite issues, there is nobody in San Diego that does a better job than Corky's Pest Control. Nobody has the four-year guarantee, and Corky will beat anybody's prices. And if not, if you find somebody to beat Corky's prices, He'll buy you dinner down at Mr. A's, but he's not buying a lot of dinners right now. No, he's not because, well, let's face it, he is the best in town. For your guarantee, you're not going to find someone who's more affordable and better at his job than Quark. Lucian, you want to have some fun? Take a couple of your little kumquats there, right? <laughs> and and you see the girl who's dancing? She's on the screen. <laughs> oh, no, no, give it, bring it back here, guys. Bring it back. Here, let's see if we can hit her. You ready? Uh. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, 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 Lucian. <laughs> Oh, there she is. See, oh, she's dancing. She's here. doing her moves. There you go. 1-800-901-1102 uh, for Corky's.